Welcome to Board Spotlight, a brief recap of the bi-weekly meetings of the Peralta College's Board of Trustees. The June 11th meeting started off with the swearing-in of two new student trustees, Wiley and Sharon Clegg. I, Sharon Clegg. I, Wiley. Wiley. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To car carry out my responsibilities as student trustees. To carry, carry out, out my responsibilities as student trustees. trustees. Of Peralta Community College of, District. Of, of Peralta Peralta Community College District. Next, the board recognized Dr. Jacob Ng for his 24 years of service to the district. It's unfortunate that Dr. Ng can't be with us tonight, but we really want you all to, um, to see the recognition and the resolution that we have for him. Um, I work with Dr. Ng all my time that I've been here 11 years, and, and his, his presence will be missed here. Next up was the presentation of the 2013-14 tentative budget by Vice Chancellor Gerhardt. Uh, general assumptions, uh, the budget is balanced, as mentioned before, revenues equal expenditures. There's no structural deficit that we're going into the fiscal year. There is a contingency re for reserve of no less than 5%, and that we utilize our shared governance uh, model in terms of its development. Included in this budget is uh, restoration of funding for 20 full-time faculty positions that have been allocated uh, to, to the colleges uh, in alignment with our budget allocation model. Uh, fifth, uh, restoration of funding for 15 classified positions using the same model and, and the same process. Um, and what's not listed on here is, as well as uh, restoration of funding for four deans, one at each of the colleges, as well as uh, positions at the colleges for the uh, director of uh, student life positions. So what this, what this slide is uh, meant, to, um, meant to show is really because of the passes of Prop 30 and the money that's being derived because of uh, Prop 30, which is um, basically tax increases over a seven year period, it, it changed fundamentally our revenue, our operating revenue. Uh, and I think it's something that is, is worth noting uh, in terms of, especially in terms of the long term planning. Reduction. So, as a legislative matter, we need to make sure that we never, that we find a way to renew that source of income because what we're doing is counting on, we're building it in and we're saving away for a rainy day, but should it storm, if everything, if, if things don't go uh, as, as we plan or as we hope, then we could be caught in the same situation that we needed Prop 30 to get us out of. And, unless we plan to do otherwise, yes. Finally, College of Alameda President Dr. Jackson made an announcement. Okay, let's make it official. This is uh, Dr. Jackson's last meeting. And um, I did prepare a speech, but I left it for the June 25th meeting. Uh, Dr. Jackson, thank you very much for your service. And good luck in your new position as chancellor. Well, it hasn't been approved yet, but the reason I won't be at the June 25th uh, board meeting for Peralta is that I will be attending the Chabot Las Positas board meeting, and that will be hopefully when my contract is approved, and then I will be officially going over to Chabot Las Positas as the chancellor on July the 29th. I want to take this opportunity, since I have it, um, to, th to thank all of you. It's been a, a great ride. I've uh, cut my teeth on administrative responsibilities here at the Peralta District, and um, it's like New York. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> so thank you very much for all of your support. I appreciate it. The Peralta Community College District Board of Trustees meet the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month. All meetings are open to the public and are broadcast live on Peralta TV. Past meetings are available for viewing on the internet at web.peralta.edu slash trustees slash meetings dash vote log. Peralta TV, programs that matter.